there are two groups of people in society. One is massive and the other one's quite small. The massive group is called the masses. It's the masses of people. It's most people fit into that group. The second group, which is much smaller, is called what I call the masters. And they're on a different path, right? They live among each other and they're in society and, and you fit into one of them. And sometimes you're in one and sometimes you're in the other. But they live very differently and they all get very different results. The masses are following one path and the masters are following another. Which path are they following? Well, the masters obviously are following the path of mastery. Well, which path are the masses following? Usually it's the path of conformity. And see, mastery and, and conformity are very different and mastery and mediocrity are very different. Those are the opposites. Right? And so if we settle into a mediocre existence and we conform to what everybody else is doing, then we end up like the masses and we get what the masses get. And like somebody one time said, if you follow the herd, you're always going to be walking in the manure. Right? And getting on the path to conformity and the path to mediocrity leads to mire. Really fascinating definition of the word mire, right? And, and roll with me here because we're going to dive in, in just a second, like what this means to you. And you're like, why should I even listen? Why do I even care? Who cares if I'm in the masses or the masters? Like, what's the point? And I'm going to get into that in just a second. And it changes the total outcome and the quality of your life. But if you get stuck in the mire, one of the definitions of mire is to be in a situation or a state that's really difficult and really embarrassing and really hard to get out of, right? It's desperate. And it's hard to extradite yourself, to get yourself out of it, right? We get stuck all the time because we're on the path to mediocrity. So which path are you in? Which group are you in? And the way to see that is take every single aspect of your life and say, what do the masses do? And I saw a really funny billboard one time that says, be careful when you follow the masses because sometimes the M is silent. Right? So what do the masses do and what do the masters do? Let's take any aspect of your life. Let's take health and fitness. What do the masses do? Man, they eat tons of processed food. They eat way too much. <laughs> lots of sugar, lots of junk food, lots of garbage. Right? They'll just take whatever comes and goes, whatever tastes good, whatever's convenient or easy. You know, fast food, junk food, candy, as processed as it can get. They're just drinking anything that gets in their body. And they're not concerned about what's going in and the long-term effect. What do the masters do? Well, the masters look at food as fuel. And they're like, man, this my body is a high-performing machine. This isn't some junky Pinto. Like This is a Porsche, and I'm going to take care of it. And so they look at everything that goes in their mouth as having a fuel cost. Let that sink in. Everything that goes through your lips has a cost. And so they drink water. And they eat lots of fruits and vegetables and fresh food. They try to get organic food and locally grown food and things that don't have a lot of chemicals and a lot of junk in them. They avoid fast food. They avoid junk food. They avoid sugars and donuts and carbonation and, and anything that is addictive or harmful. Right? Just, just a simple strategy there. The masses, they don't exercise that much. They don't move their body that much. They kind of do what they feel like doing. And I go, oh, I'd rather not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video. Check out the video on that. Of like how to get yourself to do the things you don't feel like doing. Watch that one. It's huge. But the, with exercise, right? Like, oh, I don't feel like I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to sit around, do nothing. If I go to the gym, I kind of chit chat and like play with the machines, but I don't really work out that hard, right? And so we, we get a little bit overweight and out of shape and uncomfortable. That's the masses. What are the masters doing? They're exercising, they're doing things that are fun and exciting and invigorating. They move their bodies so they feel fantastic and they have tons of energy, all right? What about relationships? What do the masses do? Oh, they just deal with it. Right? They do whatever they feel like, and there's tons of drama. You know what I'm talking about, right? The masses have tons of drama in their relationships. What do the masters do? They're investing. They're working on it. They spend time 
with high quality, high caliber people because they know that we all become like the people we spend the most time with. And so they choose their friends very wisely and they're always working on themselves because if I get better, my relationships get better. And I look for ways that I can serve and love more where I can overcome my my quirks and idiosyncrasies and idiot syncrasies, right? I'm working on that. I'm dialing that in and I'm looking for ways to improve. I'm studying. In fact, this is what the masters do. They read a lot of great books. They listen to great podcasts. They listen to audiobooks all the time. They turn their cars into mobile universities, right? They're not sitting there listening to the radio and they're not wasting tons of time watching mindless TV. They're learning great things. They're constantly learning every day, learning, seeing how they can improve their lives and get better situations and circumstances, better results, right? Love this stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. And so the masters are doing that. They're working on themselves. In fact, here's one thing. The masters work on themselves harder than they do on anything else because they know it all starts right here and right here. What do the masses do? Oh, they don't even think about it. In fact, most of the masses, the only thing they think about is the weekend. That's the, the farthest vision they have. It's like, well, what am I going to do this Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Can't wait to just sit around and do nothing, <laughs> right? The masses, and, and again, like we get caught in, in, in overwhelm and stress and frustration and discouragement and fears and anxieties. And, and we're, we're just constantly trying to entertain ourselves to death to our physical death, our mental death, our spiritual death, our social death, right? Financial death. We're just entertaining ourselves to death instead of trying to deliberately live life. So what does this mean for you? And what does it mean for me? I mean, if you and I, we go along living like the masses, then what kind of results do we get? Well, mediocre results at best. When you do what everybody else does, you get what everybody else gets. What do the masters get? Well, you know this too. Look around. The masters are succeeding. They enjoy phenomenal health, phenomenal wealth, right? They have this, they're spiritually centered and grounded. They're comfortable in their own skin. They enjoy a lot of inner peace and confidence. They're building great relationships, lots of friends and family relationships, extraordinary marriages and relationships with their kids and they're building businesses and they're having influence and impact in the community and the world. And they're going through every area of their life getting the results. So which results do you want? Right? And here's, here's the key. The masses look at what's immediate, what's right in front of them. And they live off whether they feel like doing it or not. The masters say, well, I'm not so much worried about the method. I'm worried about the outcome." Right? I want to live an absolutely extraordinary life. And say, what do I need to do to live that life? And that's that's how to me, right? My name's Greg Denning, for those of you who don't know me. And I grew up in a, in a broken home, ended up out on my own. And I wanted to live an absolutely extraordinary life. In fact, I, I was alone. I was broke. I was unhealthy. I was shy. I was timid and insecure. I was desperate. I was lonely. I was depressed. I was fearful. I didn't think life would ever be great. I thought it was going to be terrible. But I kept running into people that had awesome lives. And so I got desperate and hungry to find the secrets for success. And this is where it started to happen in my late teens and early 20s. I started noticing that people live so differently. Most people live one way and a few people live another way. And I'm like, why? Well, I, I want what they want. But I realized if I want what they want, I have to do what they do. I have to think what they think and ultimately I have to live like they live. And so that turns out into getting up early. The masters, they get up, they go to bed early so they can get up early and they start their days with power. How do the masses start their days? Oh man, alarm goes off. I'm like, oh, they're just crawling out of bed and they're like, oh, it's late, I gotta rush. And they rush right into their days and it's in survival mode. Right, very different. How do they go about their work? Well, the masses just 
do the bare minimum to get the grades, the bare minimum to not get fired, the bare minimum just to get it done and get it through. They have a, a good enough attitude where like, oh, you know, that's good enough. We'll leave it right there. Well, what do the masters do? They go in and they do things they love. They're committed to being world class at what they do. Whatever they do, they're going to do it with greatness. And they're all in. And they're going to make sure that it's done with excellence. Right? They're going to hold a high standard for themselves and whatever work they do. They just think about it differently. What kind of mindsets do they have? Well, they have a very growth mindset. Like, I'll either find a way or I'll make one. And I'm going to learn and grow. I'm going to improve. I'm going to overcome my weaknesses. What do the masses have? The masses generally have a very fixed mindset of this is the way things are. This is just the way I am. There's really nothing I can do about it. Life sucks and then you die, right? And they, they get stuck there. And so I want to invite you today to look at every area of your life, physical, mental, emotional, social, spiritual, financial. Take every role you have as a husband and a father and a leader and a businessman, um, as, you know, as a friend, as a brother, as a son. Like whatever your role is, wherever you're, you are in life, Look at all of it and just say, just honest, like total honest right here. Say, am I living like the masses in mediocrity and conformity? Or am I living like the masters and I'm on the path to mastery? And the best way to do this, my friends, is to look at what you want. What kind of life do you really want? Then choose that path. Whoa. And this is, this is exactly what I talk about in my Be A Man Master classes and in the trainings I do. And the, I get to do, you guys, I get to do um, executive life and business coaching, right, for, for high achieving people. And, and this is exactly what we go through, modeling this out step by step, right? And I, in fact, so I became, because I went through that journey and I found the secrets to success, I found the things that worked and the things that don't work. I found the proven strategies, the tools and the training that just work. And then it became my life's work and my passion and purpose to share this with as many people as I can. That's why I make these videos. So subscribe to the, this YouTube channel. It's why I do my podcast, the Extraordinary Family Life Podcast. There's a link in the description. Go listen to those podcast episodes. I've got hundreds of them helping you live an absolutely extraordinary life and get on the path to mastery, showing you how to do it because I didn't know how to do it. I had to figure it out on my own. And I ended up reading a, about a book a week for over two decades, right? And now traveling the world and working with people on five continents to figure this stuff out. So go go subscribe to that, that podcast. And then if you want some tools and trainings, grab them. That's why I do the master class and I have free resources. I have this quiz. Get the quiz. Take the quiz. See how you're doing as a man and as in, in your most important roles. And, and take the quiz to find out, like, am I living like the masses or am I living like the masters? And where are you on that scale? Take the quiz. Get the resources. Get the training. Dive in and take control of your life so you feel like you're directing your life instead of life directing you. And you're using your time wisely instead of other people using you for their time and their goals. But choose today, in fact, every day when you get up, say, what am I going to do today? I'm going to be like the masses or like the masters. And whatever choice we make will determine how our lives turn out. And here's what I want to say. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And I totally transform my life. And I live life now on the path to mastery. And it's allowed me, I have an extraordinary marriage. We have seven children. We get to travel all over the world. I just got back from a seven month road trip with my kids. Seven months out having epic adventures, and bungee jumping and skydiving and waterfalls and beaches and humanitarian work and all kinds of incredible experiences and memories together, right? And to do work I love and to have all the freedom we want. And we've built that by being on the path of mastery. So get on the path of mastery. Let me help you how I can. Reach out to me. Send me messages and questions. Jump in. Grab those resources. Subscribe to this channel or the podcast. And get in. Learn how the masters live. And align your life to that because it is so worth it. Reach upward.